two phases right there are two phases in the process and this is the first phase and this is the second phase the light dependent reaction that is known as the light phase uh, light is needed for the reactions to take place and the light independent reaction that is a phase known as the dark phase so light is not necessarily needed so whether light is, pre is, is present or not the reactions will take place okay so identify the organelle that is shown above in which photosynthesis occurs simple stuff this will obviously be chloroplast they are asking us for the organelle that is shown above that is chloroplast i don't know why some of you guys still confuse chloroplast and chlorophyll right chloroplast is the organelle chlorophyll is the pigment please take note of that okay then we need to identify part w and part x so there is w over here very easy to identify remember we are having these discs that contain chlorophyll and each disc is known as a thylakoid but they are in a pack over here when they are in a pack we call it a grain or grainum okay um, then X, uh, there is X. This is the membrane of the chloroplast. And we know that it is a double membrane. So this is the double membrane of the chloroplast. Okay, I hope you're still with me. Identify molecule Y and molecule Z. Check what word they are using here guys molecule this part this one they said identify the part now they are asking us to identify the molecules y and z there is y and there is z now let's remind ourselves and basically analyze what is happening here so in the light phase there is water that is required in the light phase photolysis will then take place um, to split the water molecules there is oxygen being released this will obviously be released back to the atmosphere um, then from that water molecule we will then have the hydrogen rich um, atoms okay which will obviously bond with the core enzyme or hydrogen carrier which will then be taken to the stroma where the dark phase takes place so molecule y will be the hydrogen rich atoms or you can write it in full hydrogen rich atoms or high energy hydrogen atoms let me write it down high energy um hydrogen atoms okay um, then we obviously know that photophosphorylation will take place in order for us to have ATP where ADP will bond with um, a single P phosphate to form ATP. Right. Then that ATP will diffuse out of the thylakoid into the stroma and will be used in the dark phase. Now, guys, um, there's a video that... Um, I've posted already I'm hoping by now I would have posted that video that is on my channel where I explain the light phase and the dark phase in detail so that you understand this is very important for you guys to understand so please also check that video out um, it is very easy easy to understand I simplified everything about the process of photosynthesis so please do check it out once you watch that video guys it will be very easy for you to answer any previous photosynthesis exam question all right then Z Z is a product um, of the dark phase so what we're seeing in the dark phase this is obviously a series of chemical reactions. There is carbon dioxide that obviously diffuses from um, the atmosphere through the stomata, um, then passes through the cell wall and cell membrane via the cytoplasm, then eventually passes through the double membrane of the chloroplast, right? So there will then be a reaction between carbon dioxide and the hydrogen-rich atoms in order to form glucose, 
okay and the energy that they are going to use is the energy from atp so that means molecule z is our glucose please guys if you feel like this is confusing please watch that photosynthesis breakdown video then come back to um this video to watch to watch me break down the questions okay for four marks we are not skipping this one guys remember in this channel guys uh here at home we do not skip any question so the tendency of certain students um, only answering one or two mark allocated questions and skipping your three four five six marks allocated question we don't do that guys we attempt to answer all questions that is why i i started this platform because i realized that learners uh, some learners rather skip questions we're not skipping questions we need to be able to answer all questions that are asked in the exam because let's think about it that question they're asking you the question so it's not like there's few questions in there that um, are for certain learners and other questions are for another group of learners each and every question in that question paper is for you to answer okay uh, i'm not shouting guys i'm just saying i'm just saying teacher voice eh? teacher voice 2.1.4 2.1.4 describe the role of water molecule of the water molecule during the light dependent reaction of photosynthesis we need to understand exactly what this question is asking us to do guys they are asking us to describe what exactly the role of the water molecule when what is happening during the light dependent reaction that is the light phase the role of the role of the water molecule during the light phase okay now we know that the water molecule will be split using energy from the sun and when the water molecule gets split we are getting two atoms we get oxygen that um diffuses out of the chloroplast and diffuses out of the stomata then goes back to the atmosphere we also then get hydrogen rich atoms which will then bond with our core enzymes and then react with carbon dioxide in the dark phase but we're not going to mention the dark phase at all because they've asked us what is happening uh, or the role of the molecules in the light phase only so what we can then say here is that um, the water molecule is the source for both hydrogen rich atoms and also our oxygen okay do we have space let me see okay let me try and write it somewhere here so this is 2.1.4 so water molecule basically the source of hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms um, we know that the hydrogen atoms are going to help we'll just say hydrogen atoms they're going to form carbohydrates and the oxygen atom is going to form the oxygen gas that will be uh what's happening here okay that will obviously go back to the atmosphere easy piece of stuff 215 we need to explain when you see the word explain remember cause and effect cause and effect cause and effect right two marks explain why an increase in the concentration of carbon dioxide may not necessarily lead to an increase in the rate of photosynthesis now remember carbon dioxide is a requirement guys this is the requirement we are now talking about the rate at which photosynthesis takes place so an increase in the concentration of carbon dioxide um they are asking us to explain why that may not necessarily lead to the increase in the rate of photosynthesis remember guys um if there is an increase in carbon dioxide there needs to also be an increase in all the other requirements of photosynthesis in order 
for an increase to happen in the rate of photosynthesis. So it doesn't help if we're just having high concentration of carbon dioxide, but low concentration of water and low levels of light, because those are the requirements of photosynthesis. So in order for an increase um, in rate of photosynthesis to effectively take place, we need to have high concentration of all the requirements. Okay, we can also talk about um, the pH changing, right? Because a large increase in carbon dioxide will change the pH um, basically to become more acidic and that affects the enzymes. So if the enzymes um, are affected or they are damaged, that basically impacts on the whole process of photosynthesis. So how will you phrase that? That is 2.1.5. So other requirements for photosynthesis may be in short supply or remember you don't write both answers they are asking you to just explain one so if you just say the first sentence that is enough to grant you two marks you don't have to give multiple options so the or is for obviously the teachers when they are marking the papers or you can say a large increase in carbon dioxide makes the pH acidic and enzyme controlling the process which is photosynthesis, will be damaged. All right, let's move to the next question. Second question, the diagram below represents an organo that plays an important role in a plant cell. Name the organo that is shown. We already know. Chloroplast. Name the biochemical process in which the organelle shown in the diagram plays an important role. What is the name of that process? We know. Photosynthesis. Give the letter and name of the structure in which the light-dependent reaction takes place. Letter and the name. So the letter will be A. And the name will be Grey Num. Easy piece of stuff. Give a reason for your answer. It's because, how many marks? Two marks. So part A contains chlorophyll, um, which will absorb light energy. Part A, which is basically the Grey Num, contains chlorophyll which will absorb energy from the sun or you can just say which will absorb radiant energy so that should be enough all right thank you so much for watching guys remember to subscribe like share comment down below and all the best for your test